Hi everyone, welcome to Megan Sullivan Art. I'm here with a new um, journal flip through to show you. Um, this one is a Flamingo journal, quite obviously. Um, and for this one I have used the digital kit Flamingo Fancy by um, Nevermore Creation 17. Um, and there are also some other um, images and things that are in this journal that I have collected myself from the public domain. So they're in here as well. Um, it's a soft fabric covered journal um, and in between the fabric is a foam lining. Um, this sort of stuff. That's what I use to pad them up. It's just like a kid's craft foam. Um, so that's in between the layers. Um, it's one signature. Um, sewn in with wax linen there and 124 pages front and back. So we've got some lace trims. This is a um, piece of the um, clothing. It was a dress that I took apart for this particular fabric. But it's got that kind of tropical kind of feel to it. Um, okay, so we've got some envelopes in here. We've got some lace trims, tucks and pockets and things. We've got the lining of this is actually from a gift bag because it had some awesome flamingo pictures on it. Um, yeah, so let's get inside. Um, so I've done, there's a, a hot pink shiny um, thread which I've used to sew everything down. And behind this particular image, which is from uh, Lindsay's kit, um, from Nevermore Creations kit, is a piece of napkin behind there which has been glued down. So this is the liner. So this is the gift bag. So that is the same front and back of the journal. So that's thick, thicker kind of cardstock, which has been sewn down with a zigzag and a straight stretch uh, stitch. Sorry, so that's not going anywhere. This is one of the uh, papers that I had found on uh, probably pixabay.com, I would say. So this is one that I've included in here. So that's that one. Um, so there is a lot of white space. I haven't coffee dyed anything in this journal. We have a CD cover here, which has got one of the images from Lindsay's kit. So these have all just been backed onto, they're either printed on cardstock or backed onto her backing papers. So, and then you've got room under the back there for another one. This is a vehicle logbook with a pineapple trim. Just some collaging here. There's lots of um, different tropical flowers with some paper off cuts and things behind it this was some gift wrap um, that I just thought was nice so I've just sewn that into an envelope and there's nothing in there so there is lots and lots of scope for someone to do a lot more decoration or a lot of journaling this is Lindsay's kit this is a bookmark that I have decoupage so I have covered over the top of it and also the back just done a bit of inking and you know spraying and things that's from Lindsay's kit that's just an off cut of mine pink paper with a bit of trim this came from a seller that I bought some laces from she gave me some extras so that was nice this is from Lindsay's kit some ledger this is from Lindsay's kit and I've just sewn that onto thick cardstock Lindsay this is one that I have found. So it's Alice in Wonderland holding a flamingo. So that's just on white card stock. And I've just done a bit of collage on the back there to adhere this to the paper bag, uh, which is a chemist bag, but I love the pink. So this has got a couple of images. This is Lindsay's. This is an image I've found. And I added the frame um, in Photoshop, I think it was. Lindsay's kit, a bit of collage. Some lace. This is a kid's book page, which uh, was a story about owls, but it also had some amazing um, pictures of flamingos. So that's gone in here. Um, I've got a paper bag pocket here. So I've folded it up to make three tiers. So this is Lindsay's kit. Um, I found these pineapple die cuts. So I use those, put it onto cardstock and a bit of coffee dyed paper. And this is another one of those bookmarks that I've used gift wrap on and sprayed the back. And that's one of the circles from Lindsay's kit. So you've got a pocket in the back there. At the back, you've got one there, and then you've got the one up the front. So some lace, green and white lace. Lindsay's kit as is that one. This was just another image that I had found, so that goes on to the opposite side of the journal. Just a cutout. 
some more lace, um, a little paper coin kind of envelope. This is from Lindsay's kit. That's another one of the die cuts with a piece of off cut of Lindsay's kit there. Just sort of inked up the back a little bit. This is from Lindsay's kit. Just another cutout. This is like a handmade paper. This is from Lindsay's kit. This is an image that I've found. So obviously that can be blown up to like a, an A4 size. Lindsay's kit. Uh, these are some more of those pineapple die cuts that I've put back to front in just some packaging and punched a hole in the top so you could turn it into a tag. This is another envelope with that same gift wrap and I've just put a little tag there so you could write what was inside and inside is a little journal card there. Oops. Um, this paper uh, of this page is actually called elephant poo paper. Um, and my boss had given me this. So it does contain elephant poo and some different plant material. It comes from Indonesia. Lindsay's kit. This is an extra page that I had found. Lindsay's kit um, with just a cutout. This was some vellum um, that a friend of mine had given me. I think, or I got it at a second hand shop. I can't remember. But just purple roses on there. Some more of the kids book page. I'm here I've just sewn over the words, just put some coffee dyed paper on top of that for journaling space. This is an envelope from made from gift wrap and I've got a, another tag on the front there. A bit of lace on the back and inside are two journal cards. Um, I think these are both images that I have found. I'm not sure if they were from Lindsay's kit. So I do apologise there but I've sewn around those. They're on white cardstock. Um, that way this water image is from Lindsay's kit flamingo fancy this one and this one as well this was just some uh, scrapbooking paper that I took the pineapple from handmade paper again the pink one just some metallic paper um, translucent paper has a bit of a lined pattern on it um, the kids book page Lindsay's kit um, this is a bit of scrapbooking paper and this is another image that I had found and just sewed around that one just some more decoupage middle of the journal I just tried to use as many off cuts and scraps as I could basically this is going through the opposite side now so this is another paper bag pocket. So this is Lindsay's kit. The heart is from Lindsay's kit. And as is this heart and this banner down the bottom there. And this was just some journal cards that I had that I just sewed some lie, um, striped paper onto. So that slits, slides into there, I should say. That goes in the front. And then this is another one of those bookmarks that I decoupaged the... Um, gift wrap onto and this is from Lindsay's kit one of the circles there so that goes in the very back pocket some lined paper um, this is just a piece of burlap with lace that I just turned into a tuck so it's sewn down this side and top and bottom so that's another one of the bookmarks. Elephant poo paper. <laughs> so this is Lindsay's pocket. Um, this is another image that I had found on the internet, public domain. That's the opposite side of that other page. It still allows for lots of journaling space. Um, this I have folded over, so you could probably tuck something under there if you wanted to, both sides. Love this image. A strange looking bird. Poor flamingos. That's another one of Lindsay's onto pink cardstock. Vehicle logbook. And the end. So two lovebird flamingos there. <laughs> oh.
Alrighty, everyone. Thank you for that. So this will be listed on my Etsy store very soon and on the um, Boutique for Junk Journal stand under page as well. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you very much. Bye.